for south side infrastructure improvement um, community meeting. Uh, I'm Mary Hanna. I'm the project manager for this project. Uh, I know council member Anne is with us. So, council member, do you want to say anything? Just good evening and thanks everybody for joining us. Um, I'm here if anybody has any questions for me. Thank you. Thank you so much for attending. Okay, so we are having the meeting today to provide the resident about overview our blend improvement and the construction schedule in the south side area. Um, more than a year ago, we had our design public meeting. Uh, now we're starting the construction. We have the contractor on board and we are going to start construction soon in your street. So we wanted to give you a heads up and give you an idea what we are going to do in each of the streets. So our agenda for today will go over the project limits in existing conditions, show some picture how the street looks like, uh, then uh, talk about project scope and the construction schedule, and then we'll open it at the end for questions if anyone has any questions. So project limits. So we have se uh, seven streets in this project. First one is Wagaman Street from Hempel to College. Then we have Hempel Street from Boys to Felix Street. You can see it in the map. I know someone calling in, he may not see my screen. Um, this presentation will be recorded. So if you cannot see it now, um, the link will be available in a couple of days and we can share it with everyone and it will be on the YouTube channel if you want to look at it after, the meet, uh, after this meeting. Um, third street will be Livingston Avenue from Bedison to um, Dexton Street. And then we have James Avenue from Bedison to Butler and James Avenue from Dexton to Bot, uh, to Bolt Street. And then the last is we having Welling Avenue from Bedison to Dexton Street. So this is the street in this project. So why this we are choosing the streets? This were voted on in 2018 bond. Uh, residents choose the streets. So here is some picture showing the condition, the street in a very bad condition. Uh, this is James Avenue. You can see the condition of the paving. Um, and then Wagaman Street, it is completely broken. It's beyond maintenance at this point. Um, Willing Avenue have a lot of area missing curb and gutter, no driveways. The same for Livingston. Um, so this is the, the condition the street currently in. So what is our scope? So uh, when we presented this project back in January, we said we're going to do the street and asphalt um, during this time. And that's one of the reasons of delay. This project was bad and we get very high prices. So we decided to rebid it again with alternatives. So the city decided to see if we're going to do it asphalt or concrete. We asked the contractor to give us com uh, prices for both, and it turned out for this project to do it concrete is, is saving the city money for future maintenance. So we chose to go with concrete for all the streets. So originally that was not the plan for this area, but that was the decision we end up doing concrete for all the streets. So that's a better um, product at the end, of course. It lived longer. So uh, for Wagaman Street from Hembel to College, we are going also to replace the water line in the street. We are replacing the old water line with an eight inch water line. We are constructing concrete curbs and driveway for all the uh, property there, replacing all damaged concrete sidewalk and ADA ramp on both sides of the street. And we are going to reconstruct the street and concrete. For Hembel Street from Boys to Felix, we are replacing the old water line there with a 12 inch water line. We are reconstructing the curb and gutter and driveway. We are replacing the sidewalk on both sides and reconstructing the street in concrete paving. Uh, Leving Avenue from West Bedison to Dexon. We are actually doing two water lines. The Levingston, uh, Levingston have an existing uh, 24, 30 inch water line, we're replacing it with 24 inch. 
and we actually we have also another water line. So uh, Livingston will have more construction duration due to the water line there. So we have two water lines in Livingston. And then we are constructing all concrete curb, curbs and driveway, replacing all damaged sidewalks and ADA ramps in both sides of the street. And then we construct the street and concrete. James Avenue from Bedison to Butler. So James, we have two segments. We have a segment from Bedison to Butler, north of the railroad. And then we have the other segment from um, Butler to um, Bolt, that Dixon, from Dixon to Bolt, that is south of the railroad. So the north side, north of uh, the railroad from Bedison to Butler, we are replacing the old water line with an eight inch. We're also replacing the sanitary sewer in the east alley, as you can see in the map, between Reddy and Butler. We are constructing the curb and gutter, but we're only adding sidewalk in James on the east side of the street, not on both sides, only east side, um, because um, street condition in the driveway is so the elevation of the driveway is so high, and if we start adding sidewalk on both sides, we will cause a problem for the driveway on the west side, and we didn't want to do that. And then we're going to reconstruct the street in concrete. James Avenue, Dixon to Bolt, which is south of the railroad. We're also replacing the water line with an eight-inch water line, and we're also replacing the sanitary sewer, but it is will be in the west alley between Dixon and Drew. So, um, and then we're going to construct concrete curbs and driveway. We're actually also going to do sidewalk on both sides of James. South of the railroad, it will be on both sides of the road. And then construct street and concrete paving. Willing Avenue, we are replacing the water line with an eight inch water line. We also replacing the sanitary sewer in the alley between Ryan and Willing uh, from Bedison to Butler. As you can see in that map, I have it. The green line is where is the sanitary sewer we are replacing in the alley. It's not going to be in the street. It will be in the alley behind the houses. So uh, we're also replacing existing driveway, damaged concrete sidewalk, and ADA ramps on both sides of the street. We're also re going to reconstruct the street in concrete. So this is our scope. So we saw the street condition picture before in the beginning. So how that picture for street was worse or similar to the street condition we are having in this project. And this is the end product. Wanted to show you how the street will look like after we finish. So this is picture showing you how the concrete bathing will look like in all the streets. This is a picture of the driveway. You can see we are redoing all the driveways in concrete to the right of way. We this is a picture showing sidewalk and ADA ramp. This is how the ADA ramp looks like at the intersection so um, ADA person can cross. And this is the sidewalk picture. So this is our scope and what we are going to do. So now we'll go to the construction schedule. So the contractor is moving, uh, starting construction next week. It will begin January 25th, next Monday. The first street he will start on will be Hempel Street. So Hempel is going to take a while since it's uh, an arterial, a lot of traffic, and they have to keep switching um, the traffic control around uh, while they're working because they're going to have to do the water line first, all the services, and then move to do the bathing. Uh, and then they will move to Edwin. If you can see my schedule, you can see some of the date is overlapping. So Hempel starts in January 25th until July 26th, but Wagman starts on March 16th. So the order of the street is the contractor is going to start first doing the utility. As soon as the utility work finish on that street, that contractor doing the utility work will move to the street. And then we have the bathing contractor will move to the street that we start just finish utility. So we'll be overlapping between the two contractors in the working between street, but not in the same street. So only one contractor at a time can work in a street. Um, so you you won't see continuous time down for that schedule. So this project is 14 months 
um, maybe a year and a half with the weather condition. So you are not going to see the contractor or the construction front of your house for all this time. So maybe in each street will be there around four months from that 15 months. So it will be on and off depending on who's working there, but we will be working. So that's why I'm, I'm presenting the schedule and I putting the date, the start and the end, that start date and the end date is all dependent on weather and all dependent if we don't find any unknown thing there, we find any underground utility, we didn't know about it. So the plan is if there is a street we cannot work on now, we can move to the next street. So that schedule can change. Um, we'll keep you updated as much as we can. You should receive a door hanger seven days before the contractor starts construction in front of your house or in the area. And if it's, he's going to work on your water or any of the utility, you're going to receive seven days, three days, and one day if you're going to have any disturbance for the water. So we'll keep you updated all the time what's going on. You will see us and I will give you at the end my phone number, my email, and also my inspector. If you have any question, you can contact any of us. But uh, I want to make sure everyone knows that this schedule can change due to a lot of a lot of factors. So hold with us at the end we'll get nice streaks. And I know construction is messy, but at the end we all want the project to be done. And I know we'll we'll get out of there as soon as we can. So again, going back to the construction, so Hempel will start January twenty fifth until July twenty sixth, so almost August. Weatherman will start in mid March until September, uh, beginning of September, September third. Willing Avenue will be the third street. We are moving there uh, April second to October, end of October, October twenty ninth. James Avenue will be following, will start there on May 10th until March of next year. So James is taking the longest time since there is two segments of James. They are going to work on them on both segments together. So that will be that's why James is the longest time. Uh, Livington Avenue will start there in June 2nd until March 24th. So the construction should end by March 24, 2022. Hopefully that's like if we have, don't have any issue with weather and we can move quickly, you can keep that date. Um, so this is my contact information. Again, my ma name is Mary Hannah. My phone number is 817-392-5565. And my email is mary.hannah at Fort Worth, Texas. Dot. I also put on the screen my project inspector information, Mr. Ju, and his phone number and his email. If anyone wants any question, you, you can contact either one of us. So this is the end of my presentation and we'll open it for questions. So Sally or Jeff, do we have anything in the chat? Any we questions? don't have anything in the chat right now, Mary. So if any resident online and want to unmute themselves to ask a question, you you are welcome to do that. Anyone have any questions? I got a question. Sure. Well, Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, oh, go okay, ahead. great. Yeah, um, I, I missed, uh, I tried to get on the uh, the website, the WebEx is, is, it has not come up yet, so I missed part of this. Um, you, you say your Willie's first and it starts on January 25th, is that correct? Yes. Okay, what, what part of, cons of the construction starts on January 25th? So we're starting with Hempel Street and we're starting with the utility first. Okay, that's, Doing that's, the, line. that's the water first, right? Is that right? Yes, yes. Okay. Um, 
when you had um, the forester came by and was looking at trees he was cutting down, and I asked him, since I didn't know who else to ask about, um, is it possible I can, uh, when, when they start putting in the curbs and all that, that I can get a, a wider driveway? Because I have a large vehicle, and especially when there's parties up and down the street there, I have a hard time getting in into the uh, my driveway. Can I get a wider uh, opening to the driveway? So all driveway, we are constructing a minimum 11 feet wide. So it's 11 feet in the middle bar, the straight bar. I don't know, you cannot see my screen, but so uh, it will be wider entrance than the 11. Some people are getting wider. If you have already an existing wider driveway, like 18 feet, you're getting 18 feet. If you have wider than that, if you have existing driveway wider than that, we'll provide that. If your current one is 11 or less, you're getting 11. If you want something bigger, you may need to go and get a permit. You may be going to be responsible for paying the difference. But I will have to check your location because we will, if you can contact me, I can tell you exactly how wide we're going to do your uh, driveway. So. Okay. Um, I also asked uh, when a contractor of some other private contractor was doing uh, work up the street, uh, if it was possible to put in Which? another another driveway between my house and the next house over. Uh, uh, and he said it you might not be. You will need a yeah. permit. If you want something like okay. that, you need to go to the city uh, planning uh, the development, to development services and get a permit for a second driveway. Um, okay. it, you will have to pay for that. Okay. But which street do you live in? What, what street? Willing. Willing. Willing? Okay. Yeah, Willing or most of the people, I would say almost everyone has already existing driveway, concrete driveway, because Willing was, uh, uh, actually, no, that's Wagman. So Willing, yeah, some people are getting 11. Some, if you have a bigger driveway, you should be getting bigger. But um, contact me, and I will point you who you should be um, getting in contact with to get the permit if you want another driveway. They will let you know if you can or not. Okay. I, I cannot. They will let you know if you can get another uh, driveway. And if you can, um, you can get another contractor to do it, or we can check with... Uh, my contractor, you will have to have an agreement with him uh, directly. Okay. okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, hello, this is Robert on Livingston Avenue. Hi, Robert. Hello. Um, we were at the meeting uh, last time, and they said that Livingston was going to get sidewalk on the east side of the street only because of the steep on the west side. Uh, here in the 3600 block, and we were just wondering if the sidewalk on this block here in maybe 3500 is going to be um, with the grass gapped between the sidewalk and the curb, or if they're just going to go curb to sidewalk. So some area will be the sidewalk uh, with a gap, like you're talking about, and some, like the picture I showed. And some picture, some area is going to be the whole, like, again, is the curb. So it's like, you you live in Livingston, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm going to go and look at the plans. Yeah, because okay. we're, we're at 3601. We're on the corner. Mary, on that block, this is Jasmine. Um, on that block, majority of the sidewalk does have the buffer between the curve and the sidewalk. Okay. So did you hear my consultant? Uh, so yeah, we are going to have it. Uh, so some, some, I don't, you said what's your, what's your address? We're 3601. 3601. Yeah, because okay. they're, they're eliminating the sidewalk on the west side because of the slope for the driveways is what they had said in the meeting. And we were just wondering because the the grass buffer 
Uh, a lot of the sidewalk on the uh, east side of the street, there is no sidewalk. And, you know, ours is one of the few spots that does have sidewalk. And we do have the grass buffer. Well, we have but <laughs> it'd be a lot easier if we didn't. But that's why I was just wondering if they were going to keep the same width of the street also or not. So 3601, you were going to have the buffer. Um, okay. Like, yeah, there is some probability is not going to have the buffer, but majority is going to have the buffer. And actually, yes, you are correct. We, in Livingston, we are only doing it on um, the east side. Right. Oh, so, yeah, yeah, on the east side. Okay, that sounds good then. Okay, thank you. Um, now, I, one quick question: the they're going to replace the entire main on this street, correct? With yes. the the twenty four inch. Yes. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. We have twenty four inch and uh, eighteen inch and eight inches. Sorry, we have twenty four inches and eight inches of water. Mm. Okay, that sounds great. Then uh, we look forward to the starting schedule then. Thank you. Thank you very yeah, much. So up on your street until mid year in June, so we'll be alive. Uh, that's good because that'll give us room to <laughs> get ready for it because we're going to have a lot of people besides us parking on this side street. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate your time and the effort. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for attending. Thank you. Okay, anyone else? I don't know if we have any questions in the chat. I don't see any questions in the chat. So uh, we'll stay a uh, couple of minutes. Uh, so if someone have a question, but if no one have a question, we're ending the meeting. Thank you all so much for attending. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you.